So now we've done all the repeats that we want to do. So I've done one to nine, and then I done, I've done three more additional repeats. So it's gotten a bit bigger. And now it's time for the edge. So I'm gonna continue in the same yarn, in the same color, and we're gonna start to chain uh, three. One, two, three. And then we're gonna make a DC in the first stitch. And then in the chain space, we are going to make three DCs. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna skip the puff stitch and go straight for the chain space. And we're gonna make two DCs in the chain space, just as we had two chains. And then skip the other puff here and go for the chain space. And we have three chains making up the chain space and we are gonna make, and we are going to make um, four DCs. like so. So chain three, one DC in the first stitch, three DCs in the first chain space, skip puff, and then we're gonna repeat this part here. Two DCs, skip the puff, and four DCs in the chain space. So it's gonna continue like that, skip puff, two DCs, skip puff, and four DCs all the way to the top. So we've now done the last large chain space before the middle. So this is the middle puffs. So skip the puff and then we're gonna make two DCs on each side of the middle. So two DCs and then chain two and two more DCs in the same chain space. Like so. So that's the middle. And then just continue repeating the same thing. Four DCs in every large chain space and two DCs in the small one in between the puffs. Just right here, like so, all the way to the end. So we've reached the end of the row and we've done the last chain space between the puffs. So for the last chain space, it's gonna be the same as the first one, which is three DCs in this one. And then we're gonna finish it off by going in the third chain from the previous row. And we're gonna finish it off with two DCs. Like so. For the second edge row, we are going to change the color. And this is the way that I do it. There are lots of different ways to do it, but I usually do it like this. And then I usually tie this, these two together and I sew them in. So this way you get a new loop with the right color. So we're gonna start by chain one and then we're gonna make two single crochets in the first stitch. And then we're gonna do one single crochet in each and every one of these DCs. And I always go down in just one loop. So this one, and then single crochets all the way to the middle here. And here we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do two single crochets, then two chains and two more single crochets in the middle chain space.
And when you've reached the end of the row, you finish with two single crochets in the third chain from the previous row, like so. For the next row, we are changing color. So I'm going to pull the loop back out. And if you remember to change the color, you can do that before you finish the stitch. But otherwise you can always fix it like this. So, enter. So, and now we're gonna start the next row. So we're chaining three. One, two, three. And then a DC in the same stitch, like so. Two in the first stitch here, and the same on this one, two in that stitch, and two in the first stitch here as well. And then from here, you do one double crochet in each single crochet, all the way to the middle. We've now reached the middle chain space and we're going to do two DCs in the chain space and then two chains and then two more DCs in the same chain space. That's the middle. And then you continue just as we did before with one DC in every single crochet until the end. And we're finishing the row with two DCs in the first single crochet from the previous row. Like this. So two in the first and the last stitch of each row and two in the middle. Two and two on each side. So we're changing color again to the light blue slash golden. This one. And turn. So this is the fourth row of the edge. And we're going to make one chain and then two single crochets in the first stitch. And after that, one single crochet in each DC. At the middle, just as previously done with the same color, you make two single crochets in the chain space, chain two, and two more chain, uh, two more single crochets, sorry, in the chain space. And you get this type of little tip sticking up and we continue with more single crochets just keep working those single crochets and at the end of the row we are going to make two single crochets in the third chain from the previous row like so so this is what it should look, should look like by now a little bit striped, but from here we're going to continue with this yarn and we're going to build more edge. So stay tuned with me. Row five of the edge. So this is where it gets a little bit more exciting. And now we're going to start the different part of the edge. So chain three and then in this one, because the chains represent the first stitch go down here and make a DC and then we're going to chain one and skip one and make a DC in the next one. Chain one, skip one and DC in the next. So you have two at the beginning and then you have uh, one, two, extra. So three to start. 
And then we're going to chain three, two, three. And then we're going to skip the equal amount of stitches. So one, two, three, and a DC in this one. Like so. And a second DC in the next stitch as well. Like so. And then we're going to chain three more and skip one, two, three. So this one, a DC in that one, like so. And from here, we're going to continue just like we did, we did here at first with chaining one, skip one and DC in the next. And we're going to continue doing this until we have uh, six DCs in line here. So chain and skip and DC. And chain and skip and DC. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. So that's another cluster. And now we're going to make this part again. So chain three, skip three, one DC in the next stitch and one more. So that's this part. And we're going to have the same space on each side. So we're going to chain three, skip three, DC in the next. And from here on, we're going to continue with repeating this pattern. So you're going to continue. This one is the same as this one. So six different DCs with chains in between them. And then repeat this one until we get close enough to the middle. And I'll continue showing you from there. So now we've done all, nearly all the way up to the middle. So we've done the last two beside each other. And as you can see, we're getting really close to the middle. So from here, we won't be able to do as many repeats. So this will be the last one. So I've chained three and then we're skipping three. So the next DC comes in this one. So we have one DC and chain two, chain three, chain four, chain and the fifth one so we don't get all six here so in the last single crochet before the middle chain space we're putting our last dc so we get one dc less than within the normal repeats and from here and uh, we're going to find the little chain space and we're going to put uh well one chain first and then we're going to put three dcs in the middle chain space like this and chain one and a dc in the first single crochet after the middle chain space and from there we are going to do the to do the same thing as we've done just before the chain space so these two sides will be equal just a mirror image of the other. So since this one got five DCs, we are going to do five DCs on this one too. So you get one, two, three, and a chain, four, chain, and five. Like so. Let's have a look. So this is what you get. So this is with two large chain spaces, and then you get one, two, three, four, five. So that's correct. And the three in the middle chain space. And from here, you just continue with the same repeats as we did on this side. And finish it off just like we did on this side. So now we've reached the end of the row. And we've done the last with the large chain spaces. So we're going to do the end with these. So DC and chain 
and skip. You can see what I'm doing here. So basically the same as we started, but with the twist of two DCs just beside each other, like so. So the two ones at the beginning, just side by side, and then skip and chain space and two more. And then you skip the first three for the large chain space. Row six of the edge. So we're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna go down in the first stitch and do one single crochet. And from here, we're gonna chain three. So that's one, two, three, and a single crochet in the first chain space. So down here, and then three chains, one, two, three, and a single crochet in the next chain space, like so. So you get these uh, larger chain spaces here, like kind of bubbles going up. And from here we have, the next step is the large chain space and this one we're gonna skip basically. So we're gonna do three chains. It's gonna be a lot of chain three here. So, and one DC in this one. So a DC and the DC and another DC and the DC. And chain three again. And from here, we're going to go down in this, the first small chain space. And chain three, one, two, three. And a single crochet in the next chain space. And chain three, single crochet in the chain space. I think you're getting the point. <laughs> chain three, single crochet, chain space. One, two, three. And same thing here single crochet in the chain space. So this is basically the repeat for this row so far. So same thing here. I'm just gonna show you this one too. One, two, three for the large chain space and DC and DC and DC. And one, two, three. And a single crochet in the first small chain, chain space. So you don't ever go down in the large chain space you just go down in the smaller ones. So this is what you should be getting. So the same thing here as you did on the first row of this type, the previous row, and for the small ones. So don't go down in the larger chain spaces, uh, but in every of the small ones and three chains in between. And you repeat this up until you reach and nearly the middle. So we're getting closer to the middle here. So we've done these small chain spaces, like so. So we still have one more chain space here. And we're gonna chain three and a single crochet down here. So this leaves us with just the cluster in the middle. So we're gonna do two chains here and then we're gonna do three DCs in the middle DC. And two chains. And go down with a single crochet in the first chain space. And chain three, one, two, three. And a single crochet in the next chain space. So I'm just gonna pause and show you. So this is what it looks like. So it's the same repeat all the way up here, uh, up until the last chain space. But then you do two chains and then three DCs in the middle and then go down with a single crochet in the first chain space. And from here, you just continue with the same as you did on this side. So now we've reached the end of the row and we're gonna do these chain spaces just like we did the others. So there's a single, cro a single crochet here and then we're chaining three and a single crochet in the last chain space. And for the finish here, we're gonna chain one and put a DC in the third chain from the previous row, like so. For 
for the seventh row of the edge. We are going to start by chaining one and a, de uh, a single crochet in the first stitch here. And then we're going to chain three. And as you can see here, there's a chain space. We're going to put a single crochet in the chain space like so. And from here we get the larger chain spaces. So here we're still going to chain three for this row as well. And now we're going to do uh, two DCs in the first DC. So one and two. And then again the magic number three. One, two, three chains. And in the second DC here we're going to put another two DCs. So you get this separation. So two DCs in the first, three chains, and then two DCs in the second DC. And chain three again. And we're going to continue this pattern that we started here with these kind of bubble chain spaces. So a single crochet in the first chain space chain three and then another single crochet in the second chain space chain three single crochet chain three and single crochet and chain three so this one is gonna slowly shrink by one with each row so you get kind of like a pineapple or a pyramid or whatever you like to call it. And again, we've got these three and then two DCs in the first DC. One. And two and chain three. And two DCs in the second DC. And chain three. And we're off to the chain spaces again. So let's have a look. So this is what you should be getting now. And you repeat this. So now we've reached the middle again and we've worked the last of the regular chain spaces. So this is the one that I've left here is the one just straight before the middle cluster and this is the one that's shorter as well with just two chains so from here we're gonna chain two again just like we did there but we're gonna continue with the same type of pattern as we did here but in the middle so in the first of the three dc's we're gonna put two dc's so two dc's in the first middle dc and then chain three for the middle chain space and then skip the middle DC and put two DCs in the third of the ones in the middle. So two in the first, skip the middle and two in the last. And here continue with chaining two for the special one and a single crochet in the first of the regular chain spaces and then you continue just like you did before with three chains single crochet in the chain space and so on and for the finishing touch here at the end we are going to put a single crochet in the third chain after the single crochet on the previous row so in the third chain, as you can see here. Eighth row of the edge. So we're going to chain four, like so, and we're going to do a single crochet in the chain space, like so. And from here, we're going to chain three as always and we're going to put one DC in the first DC and 
and in the second one in the second one uh, a DC as well and here we're gonna chain seven so one two three four five six seven and then a DC in the DC and in the second one as well like so so it starts to fan out a bit and chain three and a single crochet in the small chain space chain three and again as you can see the small chain space is here a single crochet down in this one and one two three a single crochet in the next one and then we're getting back to the next pointy part so chain three dc and dc dc in second dc and seven chains in the middle chain space three four five six seven that's one large chain space dc and dc and dc and dc again and chain three and don't worry i'm just about to show you how this goes like so so from here we have this one little first bow up here and then a three a three chain space dcs and dcs on both sides and seven in between and three here and we continue to build up these cute little chain spaces and we've worked the last of the normal chain spaces and these are the two with the two chains so we're going to continue on that we're making two chains and then go down in the first dc and the second dc and since this is the middle spread out we need to do an increase here in order to keep this from you know uh, kind of squishing itself up so we're gonna do not just seven but nine here so one two three four five six seven eight nine so we're doing an increase of two and then just the same as before a dc in the dc and a dc in the next dc and chain two because this is the, the special uh, the special chain space and then down in the regular one and as soon as we go down in the regular regular one we are going to do three chains and a single crochet and three chains and a single crochet and we continue on as we did before so this is what should be happening so you should be getting these where it kind of Get, uh, increases and fans out a bit more and the middle one is just in the same style so we've just made the large chain space and the two dc's so we're gonna chain three and we have only the small chain space left so we're gonna put a single crochet in the chain space and then one chain and then a finishing dc in the first stitch from this previous row like so so this is what you should be having by now with these this will all straighten out a bit more after we've done the blocking when we're finished but still coming out great i would say this is the the edge is in a different way than the rest of the shawl just to give it kind of a nice hanging down on the side when you wear it so this is let's have a look this is what you should be having and it's looking great i mean look at this so magnificent 
and we're not even done yet. I mean, this is great. Row nine of the edge. So chain four, and then do a single crochet in the first chain space, and then chain three, and two DCs, one in each DC after the large chain space. like so, and then chain two, and then we're gonna make triple crochets or treble crochets. So you need to yarn over two times. So, and go down in the large chain space and yarn over and pull through. And then we're gonna chain one and same again, one more, triple crochet and chain and another triple crochet and we're gonna do six of these so chain space and a chain and a triple triple crochet and we continue until we have six of them so that's one two three four five and six the last one and then the same as we did in the beginning here, two chains, one, two, and then a DC in the DC and another DC in the second DC, like so. So you get this sort of fan or shell like figure. And from here, three chains again and a single crochet in the small chain space and three chains and a single crochet in the small chain space and so we've reached the top of this pyramid or whatever you want to call it so and we start repeating what we just did so chain three for the larger chain space, DC in the DC, another DC in the second DC, and two chains, triple crochets, one chain, two, whoop, chain, three, chain four let's see so that's four <laughs> and a chain and some more of these so let's have a look here um, one two three four five six and two chains to finish it off to match the two DCs. Like so. And you repeat that until we get to the middle. Coming up on the middle part. And I've done the last of these, of the small chain spaces. So now we're gonna chain three and make a DC in both DCs here, like so, and two chains. And then instead of making six triple crochets, we are going to do eight. So it's an increase of two. And the same thing with the chain in between each and every one of them. It's so easy to get tangled up in your yarn. <laughs> Let's see. 
lucky. Oh, I got lucky. I thought there was gonna be a knot, but no, it solved itself. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. And eight with this one. So. It looks a bit uneven now, but it'll, it'll all sort itself out. Like so. And from here, two chains and a DC in each DC here by the middle and then one two three chains in order to reach the first of the small chain spaces and then three chains to make another chain space and then we're off to making three dcs and dcs here at uh, three chains sorry three chains to go here and two dcs but let's have a look at the middle. So this is what we have now. So we're getting these much larger figures. And this one in the middle with eight instead of six. And we continue down this side at the same path as before in the same way and same repeats. At the end of the row, we're gonna chain three and do a single crochet down in this chain space and chain one and a double crochet down in, let's see, in the first here, like so. Row 10 of the edge. Chain one and a single crochet in the first stitch, like so. And as you can see, now we are going directly, uh, moving on to the large chain space. So chain three and two DCs, one in each DC here. like so and from here we are going to change it up a bit but still chain three and then we're gonna do a single crochet back in the first chain here so a single crochet here so we get a picot and from here we are going to do a triple crochet in the previous triple crochet. So let's go and make that one like so. And continue with chaining three, a single crochet in the first chain, a triple crochet in the next here. So we're gonna repeat this throughout the whole fan or pattern or whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna keep making these. So chain three, one, two, three, and a single crochet in the first and then a triple crochet in the previous triple crochet, like so. One, two, three. And the same thing between the two double crochets. So even in the last, between the last triple crochet, the, the last triple crochet and the DCs, we're gonna make this picot. So from here, regular DCs. These two. Oops. Well, this always happens to me at the end. I don't know if it happens to you. 
but it's just a complete mess. Well, I'll ignore that for now. So this is what you should have by now. So this is what we're doing. So each and every one and a picot in between. And from here, we are chaining three as usual. And we are just making, since we don't have more than just one small chain, chain space. Let's have a look. This is the last chain space. So we're gonna do the single crochet in this one. So we're going straight down, like so, and chain three again. And double crochets in the double crochets. And from here, we're starting with the picot directly, and then we're continuing on to the treble crochets, and next the picot, and so on. So you just keep repeating that, but I'll show you, so you, so you're following. So this, with three and double crochets, a picot, which is three chains and a single crochet in the first chain, Tri uh, triple crochets, and the same in between every single one of them. And a picot here as well in the larger chain spaces. And then three chains, single crochet, three chains, and you do the same thing again, all the way to the middle. And for the middle section, we are continuing on the same path. So, Two, no, three chains, single crochet in the first chain to make the picot, and then triple crochet in the first triple crochet, and then we're continuing with the same all the way through in each and every one of the triple crochets. Double crochet. And another double crochet and chain three and you continue just as you did before and this is the middle section at the end of the row we are going to chain three and then we're gonna do a single crochet at in the first stitch from the previous row so like so so that's a single crochet and this is gonna be the last row of the edge so we're gonna start by making ten chains so one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so from here, we are going to do a slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. So one slip stitch and then chain two. Here, we are going to make two special DCs. We're gonna make two DCs together. So we're gonna start out by making the first steps of a regular DC and then when, once we've uh, pulled through two loops we are going to yarn over and go down in the next DC and do the same thing there so here we have the beginning of two DCs but from this point we are going to yarn over and pull through all loops like so and from here we're gonna start making uh, the next pick up so two chains and then one two three so five in total and in the third chain from the hook a slip stitch and then chain two and then in the triple crochet we are going to do one DC so we're kind of framing the previous pick up 
So we're going to continue with this part. So chain two for the space and then three more for the picot, third loop and slip stitch and one, two chains and then a DC in the triple crochet. So this is what we're going to do um, on top of every one of these. So when you've work, worked all of the previous triple crochets and we have just the space between the last one and the two DCs, we're going to do the same thing on top with the picot and the two chains like so. But from here, we're going to do the same thing as we did here with the two DCs together. So start by making a regular DC, but pause. Start with the other one and pull through all. And if it's, you know, tricky, just pause and rewind and try it again. Or look at it again and you'll get it. It's not that hard. You can do it. And from here, three chains, a slip stitch. So we get a, a tight picot and we're gonna do the same thing, but on the other side here. So we're skipping all of the middle part. So start one DC and pause it and start the other one and then pull through all three loops. So you tie these together. And from here, it's the same thing all the way until the middle. So you continue this on every single one of them until you reach the middle. So we've done the last of these before the middle. So the next that fans out here is the middle one. So we've done We've also done the two double crochets together. So we're chaining three and a slip stitch, just like we've done before. And the two double crochets together. One, two, three, four, five. So chain five and slip stitch in the third chain from the hook and this part is going to be exactly like these ones it's just that we have a few more triple crochets so it's basically all the same so two and then the picot and two again and a double crochet in the triple crochet and then you continue all through the middle part and further on so this is what it looks like. So just keep repeating. So we've reached the end. This part is done and we've done the two double crochets together. So for this part, we are going to chain five and do the same that we've done uh, coming up to this. So a slip stitch in the third chain from the hook and chain two. So it's exactly like these ones. But from here, we are going to chain another five, so we get uh, seven in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is exactly what we started out with on this row, on this row at the beginning. So we're doing the exact, th exact thing uh, for the finish. And we finish the row with a slip stitch in the first single crochet like so and I usually pull that tight so it doesn't slide away and I usually finish off with a chain as well so and from here we're cutting the yarn and pulling it up and we're done so great job you guys well done, and that's it. Now it's time for blocking.